How's it going everybody? It's your buddy Chris and it's another keto cooking video for you guys. So I wanted to talk about how things can get a little bit overblown. People hear keto diet and they're like, oh, it's so extreme. It's it really isn't, um, at least not the way we do it. So that's one of the things I wanted to show in today's video was just how simple and really basic it can be. So I'm gonna be making two different things, really simple. I'm gonna make these chicken breasts and we're gonna make um, just some steamed broccoli. I'm gonna show you a really simple technique to make one of the most flavorful chicken breasts that you've ever had. To start, we create a compound butter. I assume everybody knows this, but on the side of your butter, or maybe this is just in Canada, leave a comment if you if you know the answer. You can choose how much butter you want. You don't actually have to measure it with a measuring spoon or with a measuring cup. You just cut at that point, and that's exactly one quarter of a cup. Those two together are half a cup. Neat, eh? This is the way butter comes in Canada. One pound of butter big chunk. As per the markings, I'm just going to mark out where a quarter of a cup is and that's how much I'm going to take. Actually, I think I'll take a little bit more. Pop that one in there too. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. I know it looks a little bit pathetic, but we've kept this rosemary bush alive for the first time all through the winter. So I'm pretty happy. I need some rosemary. So nice to have fresh rosemary any time of the year. It's fantastic. This also seems to be alive. This is a bay tree, like for bay leaves. We've tried before and it hasn't made it, but this one, except for a few leaves that are a little funny, most of it looks pretty good. What you looking for, Sassy? What you looking for? I don't think you're gonna find anything, but you can look. So now I'm gonna chop up this rosemary and some garlic. Get that rosemary chopped up really fine. And then we're gonna add it into the butter. Four cloves of garlic. When you crush them like that, it makes peeling the garlic way easier. Once it's been crushed, you just sort of give it a couple little twists in your hand and out pops a nice clean garlic. Definitely one of the things I like when I'm just cooking, not baking, doing anything precise is that it's just exactly that. It doesn't have to be exactly, you know, one quarter cup of butter. I mean, really, at the end of the day, I'm going to be stuffing the butter under the skin. I'll show you how I do that. You make a little opening. You stuff the compound butter that we're building right now under the skin. And then you cook it. It's really simple. There's too much butter, you know, Really no biggie. Too much garlic, is there such a thing? I'm gonna start by crushing probably three of these cloves of garlic into that butter and stirring it up. And then we'll, I'll just gauge it from there, sort of by how it looks and how it smells. Got the rosemary, we have garlic and the butter, and we're gonna add some other seasoning. We're gonna add a little bit of this uh, Silk Road all-purpose blend that we love with our chicken. Onion powder, white pepper, black pepper. Again, this doesn't have to be exact, but I'm gonna go for basically about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. We have about a quarter teaspoon of the onion powder. With Silk Road, I don't know, I'm just gonna it out. Now I just gotta stir it all up. 
like using a fork for this. The butter's a little bit cold, it's still hard, and that's good. It's kind of kind of actually what you want. About the end of all your mixing and stirring, you should end up with a nice little ball of butter. This is compound butter. You can save this, you can wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the fridge. You can make up a bunch of this stuff. I'm gonna just divide this into three and stuff it inside of these beautiful chicken breasts. A little trick that we heard about for making the skin on chicken wings really crispy. And I decided to try it with these chicken breasts because crispy is good. As soon as I got home from work, I washed these uh, breasts up, patted them dry, and then I sprinkled them with a little bit of baking powder. I've just been letting that sit for about, I don't know, 35 minutes or so. Now is the time where I'm gonna start stuffing the butter into the chicken breast. All we do is grab the skin and with your finger, you just start wiggling it back and forth. You don't, you just try to get it through. Don't poke it all the way through because you're building a big pocket here. You're just breaking up some of the membrane. And then this is what we're gonna fill with the butter. You can see I've divided the compound butter we made into three lumps. So I'm just gonna take one of them here and I just take this butter and I stuff it right into that pocket and then I just work it in and back through all the way there where I'd opened it up and get that all in there. And that's, we just do that two more times. I'm just taking the last little bits of the compound butter that are left in the bowl and I'm just rubbing it onto the skin and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of that spice blend and some pepper. So I got this oven set for 420 degrees for 12 minutes and then we're going to drop the temperature. I love big glass bowls, not only because, well, they're big and they hold a lot, but I can put them into the microwave. So I'm gonna steam all of this broccoli in the microwave. Need a little bit of water so we can steam. So we use a cup here. There's another step I always do, and that is to add a little bit of salt. I don't know if you'd call this a hack or just a way of doing things, but instead of using saran wrap, if you can uh, line up your bowls right, you can just use a plate, and that will cover your broccoli and create the steam chamber. So I'm gonna steam this for eight minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> The first 12 minutes are done. They look pretty good. Time to drop the temperature down to 350 and we'll go for, let's say we'll check this in 15 minutes and I'll uh, use a meat thermometer and see where it's at. Well, the timer has just gone off. Oh, they look really, really good. So I'm going to use a meat thermometer and hopefully it gets to 160. We're good. The chicken looks beautiful. It's time for the broccoli. And there we have it. Simple, keto, doesn't have to be fancy, no crazy ingredients, it's 
basic stuff. Let's try this chicken out. Mmm. Really juicy. The skin is very tasty and crispy. Do you like it? Give me a good chicken here. Oh, that's good. But I messed up on the broccoli. I undercooked it. I cooked it at the same time I normally do, but I cooked it twice as much, so I should have increased the time. Look at that reaction. She loves it so much. Michelle's a systematic eater. She ate all her broccoli first, and then she went for the chicken. That was our simple, simple chicken with butter and herbs. It was so good. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time from the Holy Moly. How's it going, everybody? Uh, just putting a little extra thing in here because I was editing up this keto chicken video and I thought I should give you guys an update on how my weight loss is going. So I think if you saw a couple videos back, I had talked about how I gained 26 pounds. In uh, about two weeks, I've lost all 26 pounds. So I'm doing good and I'm down below that now. So just gonna keep on trucking. Thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> Thanks for just adding this little postscript here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.